Hi, in this video we are going to see about Smart India Hackathon 2025 which is the India's biggest open innovation model festival and now they have launched the problem statements for this Smart India Hackathon 2025 on 25th August. So in this video let us see about how to apply for this, what is the eligibility criteria, how to make PPT and other frequently asked questions and answers for it. So the first thing now they have launched the problem statement. So to view the problem statements, the official website for Smart India Hackathon is sih.gov.in. And if you go there, you can see the problem statements. If you click the problem statements, you can see the all the problem statements for both hardware and software. So currently they have provided 28 for hardware and 73 for software. So let us see the thing so now here you can see the serial number organization problem statement title category problem statement number to, till now how many ideas have been submitted here and what is the theme for it so here you can see the various problem statement ty titles and and regarding the organizations who are given for it for example i'll just show you here you can see ministry of fisheries animal husbandry and dairying here the problem statement is image based breed recognition for cattle and buffaloes in india if you click that problem statement you can see the complete problem statement details here you can see the problem statement id so in case if you are using you are going to solve this problem you need to mention this id so you need to note down the problem statement id and what is the problem statement uh, title image based breed recognition for cattle and buffaloes in india so here the description is so there are uh, uh, many kinds of uh, uh, cattle and buffaloes available in India so you need to collect those data set and you need to train up the m model for it and so that it when you're going to give a image of the breed it should identify what is the exact breed of the cattle or the buffalo that is available so here you can see the description of it which mentioned that breed identification often errors often arise due to manual judgment and lack of breed specific awareness among the FLWs. India being home to a diverse array of indigenous and crossbreed cattle and buffalo breed present complex challenge for accurate breed identification. So incorrect entries compromise the values of collected data and in turn impact the effectiveness of genetic improvement, nutrition planning, disease control kinds of things. So to address this problem, we are going to make a image based recognition for machine learning techniques so that the when the images of the breed is provided, it should identify. So here, what are the expected solution is they are expecting use artificial intelligence and email analysis for classify the breed cat, cattle and buffaloes based on images can handle diverse environmental background lighting conditions and varying animal poses maintains a breed database for most common indian cattle and buffalo breeds and other crosses provides breed suggestions or confirmations at the time of registration in bpa can be seamlessly integrated with bpa platform to support real-time validation or corrections in breed entries include a user-friendly interface for FLWs with minimum technical training requirements. So this is a sample description of one problem statement and this, this is for the organization of Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Diary, the Department of Animal Husbandry and Diary and this is in the category software and theme is Agriculture, Food Tech and Rural Department. So in this way you can see for the various problem definitions given here so here uh, for example you can see for government of punjab smart crop advisory system for small and marginal farmers so here you can see the problem description what is the expected outcome kinds of details and you can see all the problems statements and you can select whichever is interesting for you and which you can uh, work on it easily so that you can provide an innovative solution so there are various kinds of uh, uh, themes available like smart innovation, renewable, renewable and sustainable energy for agriculture, clean and green technology, robotics and drones, smart education. So you can see those various 
for software and hardware based and for various themes it is available so you can just check into those problem statements and you can select your one so now the question is how to apply for it so most of you already know about smart india hackathon which is a which is a popular one it is conducted every year for the new people basically this smart india hackathon is a initiative by the government of india so this is a national level event so you could have already known about hackathon that has happened in your college or in your place or in your state kind of thing but this is a national level hackathon which is organized by the government of india that here various problems faced by the government departments private organizations are being listed and you need to solve those problems that is listed here so here the next question who can participate in this smart india hackathon 2025 so the higher education institutes are allowed to participate so here the institute need to nominate they can nominate up to 25 teams per college and for backup they need to add five teams also so 25 plus five teams per college and uh, this team should be selected through internal hackathon so you cannot directly apply only colleges need to uh, uh, are allowed to nominate the teams so here the teams are also should be qualified through the internal hackathon which is conducted by the institution so the teams shortlisted by the higher education institute will participate in the national level that is uh, smart india hackathon 2025 so the next question i am pursuing distance a part time and currently engaged as a working professional can i participate no the student should be pursuing and enrolled in a regular course so only the current students who is doing full time can able to participate in it next question what is the criteria of team formation so the team here only the teams can able to form they can able to participate only single individual entity cannot participate in it so each team should contain maximum of 6 members so in that 6 members there should be one team leader and compulsory there should be one female member so without female member the team cannot be formed so the members can be from different branches of the same college or university but they there should not be inter college the, the the team members should not from other colleges they should be from their own colleges only and they can be some different different departments or branches that is not a problem but they should be in the same college only so inter college teams are not permitted other colleges teams are not permitted they should be un under the same college only next question when can i submit the idea against the problem statement the student can submit the their ideas only after the spoc registration spoc is single point of contact registration and nomination by the institution after the internal hackathon only so only after the internal hackathon conducted in your college only after it is nominated then only they can able to submit their ideas initially spoc is responsible to conduct the internal hackathon and nominate the top teams to the idea submission on smart india hackathon portal next question will this hackathon be organized digitally or in person mode the first stage that is idea screening is online but smart india hackathon final will be conducted in offline mode only next question is it mandatory for college or institution to organize intra college hackathon yes it is mandatory for all the participate in colleges or institute to organize intra college hackathons also it is mandatory for all the participating colleges institution to provide the report of the internal hackathon to the organizer with the photos of it and the formats and uh, the guidelines they have provided in the official website also
so here you can see the smart india hackathon process flow so the the august 2025 they have launched the problem statement so they have opened the registration for spoc also that is a single point of contact for the colleges and from august august to september 2025 internal hackathon should be completed and the report should be uploaded in the portal and then the august to september nomination of top that is uh, 45 plus 5 team submission of idea portal should be submitted and September to October screening of ideas is done and October 25 results will be published and uh, communication of result the final teams on October 25 so October 25 mentoring and training sessions and November 25 announcement of shortlist of students for the Smart India Hackathon Grand Finale and December 2025 the Smart India Hackathon Grand Finale will be connected and announcement of the winners will be done on it. So this is the process flow of it. Now the guidelines for the institution. So here you can see the SPOC registration. So this single point of contact for the Smart India Hackathon can be any of the senior member of your college faculty lecturer assistant professor associate professor professor head of the department dean director principal or any other designated officials also they can be the spoc that is the single point of contact for this so for registering this students students cannot directly register only the college people can be able to register so they are they are only the responsible person for registering it and they can be able to do it so after spoc registration the smart india hackathon implementation team will verify it and they authorizes the account once the after verifying only the single point of contact of the college person can gain the access to the smart india hackathon portal so that then only they can be able to represent the teams of it so the student registration criteria only students selected in the internal hackathon can be registered and college person that is single point of contact nominates the top teams based on the internal hackathon results maximum of 50 teams from one institute can be nominated so 45 teams and for five is a backup for it so next question how the internal hackathons are conducted so here you can see the details of the internal hackathon so internal hackathon report should be submitted total number of teams participated total number of female participate internal hackathon image video links date of internal hackathon total number of male participant internal hackathon location total number of students participated mode of internal hackathon online and those these details should be submitted by the spoc so the main question here student team formation all team members must be from the same college only no inter-college teams are allowed each team consists of six members including the team leader and, and these six members at least one female team member is mandatory so you can note down this at least one female team member is mandatory then only the team will be approved so after the team selection the idea selection criteria they need to post the idea submission process the ideas will be evaluated by the experts you need to select the problem statement and for the problem statement you can post your idea submission process and evaluation criteria will include the novelty of the idea complexity clarity and details in the prescribed format feasibility practical ability sustainability scale of impact user experience and potential for future work progression these details will be considered so what about the mode of smart india hackathon grand finale so it will be held in offline on various nodal centers across the india so the teams will be, have to travel to the respective nodal centers the tentative dates will be around the third or fourth week of the november of it so here you can see the prize amount the amount of prize money to be awarded to each winning team is 1 lakh 50 thousand per problem statement so you can see the prize amount is 1 lakh 50 thousand per problem statement and the main thing the teams are encouraged to think out of the box and provide creative solution to teams under students innovation category so here you can see the 
phone number, email, ID and the website detail for the contact information regarding this uh, guidelines for you have any problems or queries during the SPOC registration you can able to contact them. And this is the PPT format that you need to provide uh, for the Smart India Hackathon. So here you can see this PPT must contain in this same format only. You can download this under the guidelines of IDEA PPT menu. So it should be in the same format. It should be under only six slides. So here you can see the important instruction. So it should uh, you should keep only up to six slides is the maximum slides that is allowed. So try to avoid paragraphs or uh, just enter your ideas in points, diagrams, picture kinds of thing. Keep your explanation precise and easy to understand. Idea should be unique and novel. So here you can see the title page with the problem statement ID, problem statement title, theme. So here uh, I have already shown you the problem statement. So for example, if you're going to uh, consider this, you're going to take about this. So you can see the problem statement ID. So you need to mention this problem statement ID, problem statement title, what is the theme, what is the category, what is your team ID, team name, which is registered on the portal. So these details should be filled here and then you need to go for the technical approach for example if you are using python which methodology for example if you are using machine learning deep learning kinds of thing you need to mention that and you need to mention about the feasibility and viability analysis and impact and benefit of it and you can mention the research and references of it so this is the template for your ppt So here you can see the process flow and organization of the internal hackathon. So internal hackathon is conducted in your college before uh, you're going to submit the team members for the Smart India Hackathon. So first is preparation phase where you need to form an internal organizing committee which en encouraging the students to form teams and participate in internal hackathon. Then after forming the team, you need to conduct the internal hackathon. Then the you need to nominate the top 25 teams plus five waiting list teams by the SPOC and submission on the portal and then the report should be detailed report should be created and it should be uploaded on the portal on it so this is the process of the internal hackathon that should be connected in your college so in this know your SPOC here you can see the various institution names and uh, the code of it and the SPOC details so in case if it is not available in your college, for example, if I'm searching for Pondicherry, you can see there is a institution Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering and Technology. What is the ACT code institution type, SPOC name, district and Puducherry. So in this way, you can check for yours. For example, uh, if, you, if it is not available, you can ask your college people for uh, register for this SPOC with the guideline that is given. So if you have any problem, issue or questions, you can just go to the contact us page and you can select the details and you can just enter your name, email and message them so that they could uh, can able to reach them and there's an email ID, phone number and other contact informations are given here. You can just follow this. So this is all about this video, Smart India Hackathon 2025 and thank you for watching.